Why talk about the concept of teams? The term team implies being and doing in relationship with others. For us in GCI, it's paramount that we fully understand exactly what we mean when we say team. After all, the polity or governance structure of our church is described in the phrase team-based and pastor-led. If we don't have a good handle on our definition of team, we can run in a variety of directions. Where does the concept of team originate? As our graphic illustrates, team flows out of the being and nature of the triune God. Father, Son, and Spirit have eternally existed as three persons in one God. Father, Son, and Spirit display complete unity in their oneness, one purpose, one faith, and one hope. Their triune relationship sets the idyllic example of mutual interdependence. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit make up the one true, real team. Think about it. They're relationally bonded to one another and have been for all eternity. They're enthusiastically engaged 100% of the time for all eternity, affirming one another. Have you ever noticed how the Father points to the Son and the Son glorifies the Father and the Spirit going out from Father and Son and turning the attention back to them? Liberating leadership. It says to us in the Gospel, so if the Son has set you free, you are free through and through. Jesus is the great liberator who has freed us from sin and death and freed us for participation with Him through the power of the Spirit. So we are free to emulate the loving, collaborative team dynamic that's shared by Jesus, the Father, and the Spirit. George Cladis, in his book, Leading the Team-Based Church, has a lot of good things to talk about in terms of the relationship of Father, Son, and Spirit. And he refers to a painting that was done by Andrei Rublev back in the 15th century. Rublev was a Russian Orthodox monk, and his painting has really made an impact in the Christian world. Um, he's been told by many theologians that this is the greatest work that portrays the Trinitarian teaching of the church, that it really shows in a very vivid way the relationship uh, Cladis says in his book, the three figures of the Trinity, as it's portrayed in the painting, the three figures of the Trinity sitting around the table with the Eucharist present appear to provide a place at the table for the faithful who behold the icon. This representation of the Trinity in joy, freedom, and equality implies an invitation to fellowship at the table. And this flow of relationship that Father, Son, and Spirit experience is equated to the divine dance. And that's, that's a beautiful imagery of how they flow together in beauty and in harmony. So can we, can we learn something about team from the union of Father, Son, and Spirit? Well, absolutely we can. In fact, it's our foundation as we talk about team. We've all had different team experiences, and I've served on many church-based teams through the years. I've also had the opportunity to lead many different teams. The range of experiences go from good and bad, and they run the full gamut. The experience in the past two years of working with the U.S. regional directors has topped the list for the most unique and satisfying for all teams that I've been a part of. These five guys that we affectionately call them are, are quite diverse in their personalities, their life experiences, and they were the very first group to go through the 24 sessions of core group facilitated by Giant Worldwide. It is through our relational connections that we actually know stuff about each other and we know one another's spouses, we know each other's children. The fact that we're scattered all across the U.S. adds to our desire to connect. There's enthusiasm and, and intentionality about making time and space to be together and to engage. I have stayed in each of the five guys' homes and they have stayed in my home as well. The five guys know each other very well. They know each other well enough that it's easy to call up one another's strengths as well as calling out challenges. I have never felt more affirmed and accepted by any other team and I deeply desire the same level of unity and purpose for any and all teams in GCI. I've recently co-authored a, a book with Rick Schallenberger and Dr. Tom Niebel. The book's called A Giant Step Forward, The Next Chapter for Grace Communion International. A comment from one of the early readers said this, the stories of the five guys 
brought us into their experience of communion in such a way as to invite us into something larger than ourselves. The Spirit's work of bringing His children into communion with the Father and one another was a tangible trail throughout the telling of their stories. I love this comment because real teams not only seek to emulate the relationship of the triune God, real teams are fueled and empowered by the presence of Father, Son, and Spirit. I plan to pass out the book to our attendees at the U.S. Regional Celebrations in 2019. You will be able to continue reading about my shared journey with the five guys and get a more in-depth feel for real teams. I look forward to being with you and visiting with you at the Regional Celebrations.